Brought to you by Eco Alkalines, environmentally responsible batteries, cat5.tv slash eco. Dear Robbie, love your show. It is Thank refreshing you. to listen to people who know what they're talking about. <laughs> Wait, didn't we just have a discussion where we just established that I am just, she knows I have nothing just come about back. anything? <laughs> this was sent before She's I came away, back. She's been away, Roy. <laughs> All righty. So I had a question for Robbie regarding the Rickle Magic 802. Mm. The mini PC that we looked at. Yeah, three Rico lines magic, yeah. S mini PC. It's a three. I, I don't know if it's That's three. Roman numerals. Three, three or lines LLL. is generally three. <laughs> three or LLL. 802, three S mini PC. Okay. I would like to know how to zoom in and out of images displayed on the screen, and how can I perform dynamic zooms on JPEGs I try. Ah. Oops. I have a wireless mouse with a center wheel control and find that the <coughs> only way to zoom in is by clicking on the left mouse button and then click again yeah, to return please. to the original size of the Thank image. You. There's no dynamic zoom that allows me to zoom in and out at any magnification. Right. There's only one zoom magnification. I, I hear what you're saying, Roy. This is the Rico Magic device. It's a very, very small mini PC. We had it on the show a few weeks ago. If you haven't seen it, go over to our website, linuxtechshow.com, and look for the video under uh, Cool Devices and Reviews. You'll see the uh, Rico Magic. It's called the smallest computer in the world. And it literally is very, very tiny, but it's an Android device that plugs into your, your computer screen or your TV with HDMI input. Right. So the, the issue that... Ron, uh, Roy, pardon me, is running into is that uh, he doesn't have the ability to zoom in because what are you missing with your TV that you don't have with a tablet? Do I give you a second or do you want me just to tell you? You don't have pinch zoom. You don't have multi-touch, so you can't do that. With a tablet, you can go whoop and you can zoom right in on something and you can go like that and zoom out. Yeah, it's with a mouse, you didn't ask me. I've never even heard of pinch zoom. Well, there it is. It's multi-touch zoom feature, right? So there's a couple of different things that you can do, Roy. And for those of you who are interested in that device or perhaps already picked one up, I'll show you a couple of different things. Really cool thing, best thing, is if you happen to have a tablet or an Android device, okay? You can install what's called the MK8023 Remote App. And it, in fact, searches for your Rico Magic device and your screen, now I'm holding a tablet, but it could be as small as your phone, your screen becomes a multi-touch mouse, essentially, for that device. So you set your phone down or your tablet down in front of you, and now it becomes your controller for the TV through the Rico Magic through Wi-Fi, completely wirelessly. That is the ultimate, because then you do get the ability to have um, multi-touch and the ability to pinch zoom just like you normally would with a tablet but you have to have an Android device. So if you don't have that, how do you zoom? Well, you can get, uh, you can actually purchase a multi-touch touchpad for only about $15, if you can believe it. It's a USB touchpad, and you've got USB on your Rico Magic device. So you plug it in there for 15 bucks, it gives you a touchpad, and you can do multi-touch gestures, including, of course, pinch zoom. If you don't have that, because Roy mentions that he's, o he's only got a mouse, I'm gonna bring up a Rico Magic device here I think what is actually happening is you're going to your USB flash drive, which is cool, and you're able to get those photos up on the screen. Um, so then you're opening it with gallery because you're not too sure which one to open it with, which is fine. But then if you double click on the photo, let's bring up one of the photos that I took uh, just a couple weeks ago. If you double click, it zooms in and double click again it's going to zoom right out. And for those who are just joining us, the device that we're talking about is the mini PC. And again, you can go back over linuxtechshow.com to see that. If I double click, it zooms in all the way <laughs> and it zooms out all the way, but there's no in between. There's no happy medium here, Roy. So I see what you're saying. And that could be a real problem when you're trying to work with a photograph. Rachel, you're an artist, so you know it would be really ideal to be able to control your zoom levels and be able to get as far in as you want. So instead what I'm going to do here, Roy, I'm going to open it with the Media Center app, okay? We're not going to open it with Gallery, and I'm going to show you why we're going to do that. Because now that I've got this photo on the screen, look what I have down in the bottom right-hand side. If you move your mouse down here, because we only have a mouse to work with, 
I've got a zoom in, which allows me to do step zoom. I can actually just get right in there, or I can I can go anywhere in between. So just by changing apps, because remember this is an Android device, right? So I can I can change the way things work by just changing which app I'm using. So here all I've done is I've said, no, I'm not going to use Gallery to open the photo. I'm going to use the eMedia Center app. So as simple as that, boom. And uh, now I've got the ability to zoom without having to purchase any additional hardware, without having to worry about the fact that my mouse doesn't have multi-touch. And eventually maybe you'll want to add something like a multi-touch touchpad or something like that. It would just add that extra functionality and then it would work in everything. For example, Angry Birds. So you got to be able to pinch zoom in Angry Birds, right? That's that's important stuff. <laughs> important stuff. If you've got it on a 52-inch screen, you got to be able to pinch zoom your Angry Birds. Plain and simple, right? That's why everyone buys these things. Yeah, I'm sure that's mm -hmm. why everyone tuned in this week too. But how, my Angry Birds? <laughs> I can't work it. <laughs> They're just all zoomed in or zoomed out. <laughs> can't get in between. <laughs> Category 5 TV is a production of Prodigy Digital Solutions and is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution 2.5 Canada. Thanks for watching.